Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Let us today learn about the conversion of length units from basic and higher units. First, let us understand the units of length. Now students, how do you measure the length of pencil? Or what would be approximately length of any pencil? Generally, we measure the length of a pencil in centimeters, right? Similarly, if I ask you, the length of the rope is measured in? The length of a rope is generally measured in meters. We say we want one meter long rope or two meter long rope. Going ahead, if I tell you, that how do you measure the length of the road from Amritsar to Agra? Now, Amritsar to Agra, would you be able to measure in these smaller units? No, we say we have traveled several kilometers. So, the length of road from Amritsar to Agra is measured in kilometers, right? So, what do we understand from this? That we require different units for measurement depending upon its use. So, let us go ahead now and understand metric system for length. Understand this table and see how the units for length go on increasing. That is, we will first talk about the unit of length for smaller lengths and then go ahead and understand units of length for bigger, longer lengths. Correct? So, the first unit here that we will be talking about is meter. Meter is neither too small unit nor too big unit. It is a middle average unit. Meter and then we start going towards its right side that is the smaller units. So, which are the next smaller units? Meter. The immediate next smaller unit is decimeter, followed by the smaller unit centimeter, and the smallest unit that we use for practical measurements, that is millimeter. Meter, as I said, is an approximately middle or average unit. There are bigger units than meter also. The unit immediately bigger than meter would be decameter, followed by the next bigger unit, hectometer, followed by the next bigger unit, kilometer. You all know where we use kilometers. Whenever we say we traveled so many kilometers, very big unit. Now, let us understand the relation between next two unit or adjacent two units. So, I will say if it is one millimeter, then one centimeter will be equal to 10 millimeter. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. Similarly, one decimeter, I am talking about comparison between adjacent units. So, decimeter and centimeter. 1 decimeter is 10 centimeter. Let's talk about the next two adjacent units, meter and decimeter. So, 1 meter is again 10 decimeter. The next two adjacent units, decameter and meter. 1 decameter is equal to 10 meter. The next two adjacent units, hectometer and decameter. 1 hectometer is equal to 10 decameter. And the last in our table, kilometer. 1 kilometer is equal to 10 hectometer. What have we understood from this table, my dear students? That conversion between two adjacent units is the number 10. The higher unit is equal to 10 into the lower unit for adjacent units as given in this table. Simple. So, let us move ahead and see some conversions based on these units. 
फर्स्ट वन वॉट इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर इन टू मिलीमीटर इफ वी सी इन द टेबल अंडर द सेंटीमीटर कॉलम वन सेंटीमीटर इज टेन मिलीमीटर सो फाइव सेंटीमीटर विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू टेन दैट इज फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर सिंपल वॉट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एट हेक्टोमीटर इन डेकामीटर सो वन हेक्टोमीटर लुक अंडर द हेक्टोमीटर कॉलम स्टूडेंट्स वन हेक्टोमीटर इज इक्वल टू टेन डेकामीटर सो एट हेक्टोमीटर विल बी इक्वल टू एट इंटू टेन एटी डेकामीटर करेक्ट वॉट द नेक्स्ट कन्वर्जन टू मीटर इन टू डेसीमीटर वॉट इज द कन्वर्जन फ्रॉम मीटर टू डेसीमीटर लुक अंडर द मीटर कॉलम वन मीटर इज टेन डेसीमीटर सो टू मीटर विल बी इक्वल टू टू इंटू टेन दैट इज ट्वेंटी डेसीमीटर टू लर्न मोर अबाउट दिस टॉपिक डाउनलोड टॉप स्कॉलर्स एप 